right here swans myself gamgadar swanke and i welcome you all to the mc gems virtual classroom my dear swans today we will be learning the topic struggle or the freedom struggle of 1857 which we have already started and in the first part of this lesson we studied about struggle before 1857 causes for the struggle of 1857 and in the causes we discussed about the economic causes social causes political causes this content among indian soldiers immediate cause the outburst scope of the struggle and leadership of the struggle now today in the same topic we'll be learning the points crushing of the struggle causes of failure of the struggle consequences of the freedom struggle and end of rule of east india company so the first point with which we are going to start today is crushing of the struggle here now on the screen as you can see the map of freedom struggle of 1857 and in that the this yellow one which is territory under british control and the red dots which shows important centers of uprising and by that you can understand the uprising locations and the dotted lines which is the present external boundary of india so the indians whole heartedly fought against the british including soldiers zamindars kings commanders and common people also that we already studied the indian sepoys started the freedom struggle before the fixed time and initially the succeeded but military strength and administration of british rule was worst so the british crushed down british crushed down the struggle by all means the british made quick recovery and within next 6 months regained the lost territories in this rani lakshmi bai kuwar singh ahmedullah led their lives so here the most important thing which we have to understand that though there was freedom struggle we call the struggle of 1857 but after that after crushing down the struggle british made quick recovery jitni bhi jagah aayi thi jo is freedom struggle ke dauran इंडियंस ने ले ली थी उसे अगले छः ही महीने ने ब्रिटिशर्स ने रिकवर कर दिया अपने पास उन्हें ले लिया बहादुर शाह वॉज इम्प्रिजेंट एट रंगून एंड देन नाना साहेब एंड बेगम हजरत महल टूक शेल्टर इन नेपाल तात्या टोपे फाउट फॉर नेक्स्ट टेन मंथ्स अगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिश बट ड्यू टू बिट्रेल ही वॉज कॉट and hanged to death in this way by the end of 1858 by the end of 1858 the british ruthlessly here the word ruthlessly the british ruthlessly crushed down the struggle by using all the ways by using all the means they crushed this struggle but even though this struggle began with the discontent among the indian soldiers but the latter the peasants artisans common people tribes came together to fight against the british and in this rebellion hindus muslims stood up with a great force their common aim was overthrowing the british from india but then also it failed 
and now we'll discuss about the reasons or the causes of failure of the struggle in that the very first is the struggle was not comprehensive lack of central leadership most of the feudatory princes remained aloof lack of military tactics and one more international situation favorable for britishers all these are the reasons because of which the freedom struggle of 1857 failed now one by one in detail we will discuss about this so here is the first one the struggle was not comprehensive the struggle did not take place simultaneously all over india जैसे हमने मैप में देखा कि बहुत सारी जगहों पे ये स्ट्रगल हुआ टेरिटरी अंदर ब्रिटिश कंट्रोल एंड द इम्पोर्टेंट सेंटर्स ऑफ अपराइजिंग ये दो चीज़ें जो हमने मैप में देखी लेकिन एक साथ साइमल्टेनियसली एक ही बार सब जगह से अपोज नहीं हुआ कहीं पर कम कहीं पर ज़्यादा तो कहीं पर लेट कहीं पर बहुत जल्दी इस की वजह से ये जो स्ट्रगल ऑफ एटीन है फेल हुआ Its intensity was more severe in North India, but Rajputana, Punjab, and some parts of Bengal and North West India remained aloof. In सब चीजों से वो दूर रहे Then the next reason, lack of central leadership. There was no commonly accepted leader to fight against the British. कोई एक leader अगर होता तो वो लीडर एक डायरेक्शन दे देता था इस स्ट्रगल को और सबको इकट्ठा करने का काम कर सकता था बट इट वाज नॉट हैपन बिकॉज द लैक ऑफ सेंट्रल लीडरशिप एंड ड्यू टू दिस देयर वाज नो यूनिफॉर्मिटी इन द स्ट्रगल अगेंस्ट ब्रिटिश यूनिफॉर्मिटी व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग हर जगह पे एक ही तरह से अगर अपोज होता था तो शायद कुछ बात बनती बट बिकॉज ऑफ नॉट ओनली द लैक ऑफ सेंट्रल लीडरशिप बट एज देयर वाज लैक ऑफ सेंट्रल लीडरशिप एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट देयर वाज नो यूनिफॉर्मिटी नेक्स्ट थिंग लैक ऑफ मिलिट्री टैक्टिस और द बिफोर दैट देयर इज वन मोर मोस्ट ऑफ द फ्यूडेटरी प्रिंसेस रिमेन अलोफ जस्ट एज द कॉमन पीपल सफर्ड ड्यू टू ब्रिटिश रूल सिमिलरली the princes also were suffering but except few others remained faithful to the british and it was the matter of adjustment or the rights given by britishers to that particular princes then the next thing causes of failure of the struggle and in that the lack of military tactics which one is very important indian soldiers were brave but did not use tactics they captured delhi but could not retain it delhi jeet to li lekin use sambhal nahi paaye similarly the indian rebels had limited armed supply because they were new in that field we can say the british had economic strength very important disciplined army in up stock of latest arms and experienced army generals now here again the thing which we have to understand ek to british lad rahe indians ke khilaf the india mein hi lad rahe the lekin economic strength jo hai wo britishers ki zyada thi matlab unke paas jo economic strength thi wo apni hi thi disciplined army जो उन्होंने यहाँ के ही लोगों को लेके बनाई थी इन ऑफ स्टॉक ऑफ लेटेस्ट आर्म्स जो वो बनाते थे या फिर कहीं और से मंगवाते थे एंड एक्सपीरियंस्ड आर्मी जनरल्स सिंस ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड कम्युनिकेशन वाज इन द हैंड्स ऑफ ब्रिटिश देयर मूवमेंट्स वेर शिफ्ट एंड ड्यू टू दिस द इंडियन शिप वॉइस कुड नॉट सक्सीज because of the transport and communication it was very easy for them to reach from one place to another place or to send messages from one troop to another troop or from the one army center to another army center 
next one international situations which was favorable to the british the Crimean war with russia was just over the british own that war and they had trade relations with the different countries in the world and that's why the world was in the side of british as we can say the naval strength of british was vast whereas the indian rebels were isolated rebels the lekin wo apni apni jagah pe apni apni tarah se unko oppose kar rahe the there was no leader there was no military tactics and lack of central leadership and all these things results into the failure of the 1857 struggle now the next thing by this chart again the same thing i'll repeat it will be very easy for you to keep in mind that the administrative reasons for failure of 1857 revolt there was no planning among the rebels it was an unorganized effort very important word unorganized effort the leadership was weak or lack of central leadership there was no direction to the movement military reasons british army was superior in organization british army had unlimited supplies the rebels had limited supplies and outdated ammunition ideological reasons all sections did not participate for example princes and educated class remain away or aloof from this struggle there was no alternative to feudalism put forth by the rebels now the next point consequences of the freedom struggle or the end of rule of east india company now due to the company rule there was growing dissatisfaction among the indians and the british rule had to face the struggle of 1858 1857 it forced the british parliament to end the rule of the company and instead take over the responsibility of ruling over the people of india through the government of india act 1858 on the screen as you can see because of the struggle of 1857 british parliament forced to end the rule of the company the governor general was now designated as the viceroy of india Who was designated as the viceroy of india governor general so lord canning here you can see happened to be the last governor general and the first viceroy गवर्नर जनरल पोस्ट जो थी वो गई और उसकी जगह पे वाइस राय की आई तो लास्ट गवर्नर जनरल अब वाइस राय बन चुका था अ न्यू पोस्ट कॉल्ड सेक्रेटरी ऑफ स्टेट वाज क्रिएटेड इन द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट टू लुक आफ्टर द अफेयर्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड द क्वींस प्रोक्लेमेशन ऑल इंडियंस आर आवर प्रोगनी and henceforth there will not be discriminated on basis of race religion here race religion caste or birthplace government services will be given on merit here queen victoria of england issued a declaration addressing the people of india and according to that they will not be discriminated on basis of race religion caste or birth birth place so government services will be given on merit there will be no interference in religious affairs now why this because the struggle of 1857 was only because of the religious matters or because of the interference of british shares or east india company into religious matters of indians it was made clear that the british crown will honor all treaties 
and agreements made by the company with the rules of princely states and no princely state will be annexed hence forth so directly or indirectly the whole power now was in the hands of the queen or the britishers not in the hands of east india company next point change in composition of army ye sab kyun ho raha tha kyunki jo 1857 ka struggle hua fir se aisa struggle in logo ko nahi chahiye tha kisi bhi tarah ka oppose unhe nahi chahiye tha and that is why the changes were there so change in composition of army the proportion of british soldiers was increased in the army english officers were placed at strategic locations so that they can take decisions and change any strategy any time artillery was kept exclusively in the hands of the british why this now kyunki agar koi indian ship or rebel bhi kare to artillery uske hath mein na lage wo kahin aur उसका यूज ना करें दैट इज वाई इट वॉज केप्ड एक्सक्लूसिवली इन द हैंड्स ऑफ द ब्रिटिश देर वॉज डिविजन ऑफ मिलिट्री ऑन बेसिस ऑफ कास्ट प्रॉपर केयर वॉज टेकन टू अवॉइड दिस वन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगेन प्रॉपर केयर वॉज टेकन टू अवॉइड इंडियंस टू यूनाइट एंड रिबेल एक तो यूनाइट भी ना हो और अगर यूनाइट हुए तो वो ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट के खिलाफ या कंपनी के खिलाफ कोई रिबेल ना करे इसकी पूरी तरह से केयर की गई ताकि फिर से 1857 जैसा कोई स्ट्रगल खड़ा ही ना हो नेक्स्ट एंड लास्ट पॉइंट चेंज इन पॉलिसी द ब्रिटिश accepted the policy of non interference non interference in social and religious aspects of indians so here the thing is very clear unko sirf ek cheez se lena tha india par raj karna hai aur yahan se jitna ho sake utna paisa leke apne desh mein leke jana hai so that the british accepted the policy of non interference in social and religious aspects of indians they also started taking care that the indian society will not be united on social grounds not at any cost they saw to it that there will be constant conflicts on grounds of caste religion race territory etc and this was the policy of ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट आपस में ही इंडियंस को लड़ाते रहना है इट मे बी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कास्ट और ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रिलीजन और ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रेस और ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ टेरिटरी सो दैट वो इकट्ठा ही नहीं होंगे ब्रिटिशर्स के खिलाफ लड़ने के लिए द एडोप्टेड द पॉलिसी ऑफ पोल्यूटिंग द माइंड ऑफ इंडियंस बाय फॉलोइंग द डिवाइड and rule policy this was the key of the british government divide and rule due to the freedom struggle of 1857 the indians felt of giving a united fight against the british rule and the freedom struggle of 1857 became an inspiration of indian freedom movement but about that we'll talk in the next session and in the next topic please subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get notifications so my dear one this is all for today thank you very much stay home stay safe take care